Have you seen an animal shelter? What do you think a shelter should look like? Do me a favor. Talk to the person sitting next to you. Describe the worst shelter you remember seeing or have imagined. What would you like to fix? What? Thank you. My name is Chloe Singleton and I'm here to tell you why we should improve needy animal shelters. If you haven't seen a shelter, listen to my description of when I have seen and when I liked when I saw it. If you have, you may be surprised by some things. I first got interested in this topic when I was four or five, when I first thought of what I wanted to be when I grew up. I thought, I would like to open an animal shelter. It would be animal friendly, large and clean. My thought was to have double doors, so that if an animal escaped through one door, they couldn't get through the second. There would be a cat room and large cages for the animals. I also got interested in kindness to animals about three years ago when my loving dog, Lucy, was put down because she had stomach cancer. This led to me seeing a shelter for the first time. We were on an adventure to get a new dog. We found our dog sure enough. He was a right good dog, but that was not a right good animal shelter. It was disgusting. Small cages, cramped, filthy, everything too small to fit the amount of animals they had. In addition to this, their yard was too tiny to give a dog a good run. How would it make you feel if you saw what I saw? Would you like to fix, solve these problems? I would. These are the experiences that led to me believing in the importance of improving animal shelters. A while ago, I went to Brother Wolf for some personal research. Brother Wolf is an animal friendly and animal focused animal shelter which does not kill any animals taken in. Look at this picture. This is most likely a shelter. Wait, wrong one. Look at this picture. This is most likely a shelter which is not no kill and does not have enough room for the animals taken in. It's almost the exact opposite of Brother Wolf. Brother Wolf is very healthy and clean and the cages are big enough for even the largest dog to walk around in. Most of the cages were at least six feet by 12 feet, though some were smaller. I saw a dog walking schedule posted on the wall. Not only, did, not only did they take good care of dogs, they also took incredible care of cats. They had a whole room for cats. The few cats that were in cages had enough room to climb and play. I think all animal shelters should be as animal friendly and animal focused as Brother Wolf. We can help animal shelters though. When you, see, when you look at this picture, what do you see? A happy and unscared dog. This is what we should be seeing. Here's what we need to do to make this happen. People should start paying attention to needy animal shelters. Start raising money with breakfasts, lunches, or dinners. Many animal shelters don't have enough workers to take care of all the animals. Often they are small and cramped because they can't save enough money to buy a bigger building. Volunteering or donate and donating are both ways to help animal shelters. And when I'm old enough, I'll volunteer too. There should be more health care and attention, exercise, larger yards and cages. We can make this happen. We need to make this happen. If you have any suggestions, raise your hand. Oliver. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
Um, whether you donate, volunteer, or just motivate others, you are making a difference. Without a doubt, you should certainly be on the lookout for a shelter that may need your help. Thank you for being with us today.